Welcome to VBAR 101. I'm Frederick Mullen, aka Mr. Mel. And today we have the Castle Creation firmware 4.02 has been released. It has support for external uh, governor, so we can run it now with the governor that comes inside the VBAR. However, you have to have a face sensor that is um, keep, uh, capable of reading a, a new digital s signal out of the... Uh, or um, a, a new digital way of driving the, the motor that the castle is using. There is only one face sensor today available and that's the hobby wing. It's a bit tricky to actually get hold of uh, because Hobbywing usually just sells it with their controllers. There is one or two resellers out there that actually sells them. But uh, the old Hyperion ones does not work with this um, speed controller. And that's why because they're actually driving the MOSFETs a little bit differently to allow them to spread out the heat uh, on the big heat sink so they can control the heat build up better that's why they're driving it differently and that will affect the face sensor if you're using a Hyperion face sensor trying to do that you're actually gonna get some odd result where it spools up okay but then it goes down to one third of the speed and stuff like that it's not working so let's have a look at the programming. I should add that it does work with other um, uh, governors as well, but I have actually worked with Castle on making this good for the V-Bar. So there is um, a good match for the V-Bar in terms of settings. If you use Skokom or uh, some other external governor, you might have to tweak endpoints and stuff like that. You don't have to do that in the V-Bar, but I mean, when it comes to to uh, a external governor mode in a speed controller there is just uh, it either works or it doesn't uh, in this case it works with a really good soft start that i'm going to show you uh, and when the soft starts let go and then it's all up to to the viewer to set up the speed controller the only thing i have to do is actually uh, go into the program and select external governor mode uh, then leave fixed endpoints and I actually do nothing more uh, since the VBAR is so uh, matched with the settings of, of, of the castle. As for authorization enable <clears throat> you actually do if you let me put it this way if you use authorization bailout in the VBAR with idle you do not actually need you can go uh, without the uh, authorization in, uh, inside the castle if you want to make complete blade stops meaning not using idle at all in the v-bar then you have to select both this authorization enable and the authorization enable in the v-bar and that way you can make full stops but I actually do not recommend it because every time uh, you start a motor uh, and there is a chance of a huge spike of load when you do start that motor, um, there, it's bad for the speed controller. There is always a chance of letting the smoke out of a speed controller <coughs> if there is a big load on the motor when it starts. So using idle in the v-bar is in my opinion a much much safer way of uh, doing this but that's how it works then you can set all the other settings spool up speed and you can set uh, drive rate and stuff like that and logging and whatever uh, i'm not gonna cover all that aspect of the castle creation uh, programming it's just the the external governor part in this version. So in the VBAR you have, um, I actually recommend you looking at my uh, electric governor remake video. I'm not gonna cover everything in this video. Uh, you have to go into setup, 
enable electric governor press reset set all your settings but I'm gonna cover what is important for the Casco governor and that's leaving the motor off and max throttle at 100 100 it should be okay there is probably some speed controller out there where the tolerance is a little bit different so you might need 102 for it to arm or you might uh, get a delay and you need to go 98 but that's about it you don't need to adjust endpoints as i do in the other videos unless you're running a scocom or a brain controller where it's not as fixed programming as this is you set your max head speed um, and you set the gear ratio and the pull pair just as anything else and then select auto rotation bailout and idle if you are going to use that as i said before i recommend using idle and then you're done that's that's the um, main thing as i said go back look at my other video for more in depth on the governor settings one thing to say is if you have a good pack 65c pack compare if i compare this um, external governor mode with for say um, uh, Roxy or some other controllers or some of the other controllers this is a little bit more aggressive um, in terms of uh, releasing power so if you have good packs you need to go lower on the game than the other uh, ESC there is no not better or worse or or uh, good or bad it's just that it it will fly be better less uh, tail kick and everything and uh, it will hold the head speed as well it's just that it might be five points lower than your previous speed controller if you're coming from from using one with external governor mode so keep that in mind if you get chatter on the one way or the tail starts kicking a little bit drop the gain a few points even if your endpoints are a little bit off, it really doesn't matter. Look here. That's how soft it is. Uh, so it's working very well.